A big truck bringing in 100,000 ballots in garbage cans, in waste paper baskets, in cardboard boxes, and in shopping baskets. And every single one of them was for Biden. If you gave me the paper ballots, I could probably turn around each one of these states. I'm absolutely convinced if you, if you let me examine each one of those ballots, I'd pull out enough that were fraudulent that it would uh, shake the hell out of, of the country. Did you ever share, Mr. Kushner, your view of Mr. Giuliani? Did you ever share your perspective about him with the president? Um, I, I guess... Uh, yes. Tell me what you said. Basically, not the approach I would take if I was you. President Trump said he had confidence in Rudy Giuliani. Well, there are pregnant pauses, and then there's being pregnant with quadruplets, which is how Jared Kushner responded when he was asked about Rudy Giuliani. And keep in mind, the January 6th committee has revealed that Giuliani was intoxicated on election night and told Donald Trump to keep fighting and declare that he had won the election when the rest of the campaign knew that Donald Trump had lost and told him so. Well, there's been a lot of speculation about why Jared Kushner was so sort of careful in how he responded when asked about Rudy Giuliani. Here's an explanation. According to Rolling Stone, Jared Kushner directly involved in Trump's early attempt to overturn the election. In other words, while Jared Kushner may have had a problem with Rudy Giuliani being drunk, Kushner did not have a problem with what Giuliani and others were trying to do. According to Rolling Stone, in the week following the 2020 election, Jared Kushner took charge in overseeing the development of plans to keep Trump in office, according to four people familiar with the matter. Quote, while he didn't go on TV and make crazy allegations like Rudy Giuliani and Sidney Powell, Kushner apparently had the very same goal as the two disgraced lawyers and repeatedly met with the then president and other top advisors to game out potential strategies for multi-pronged legal battles and a scorched earth messaging war against the victorious Biden campaign. According to administration official, quote, Jared was directly involved and fashioned himself like James Baker. James Baker was the elder statesman who became sort of the face and voice of the Bush campaign during the 2000 Florida recount against then Vice President Al Gore. A few of us, myself, Jason Miller, Justin Clark, and Mark Meadows, gathered um, in a room off the map room uh, to, to listen uh, to, to whatever Rudy presumably wanted to say to the president. Was there anyone in that conversation who, in your observation, had had, had too much to drink? Uh, like Mayor Giuliani. Tell me more about that. What was your observation about his uh, potential intoxication during that that discussion about what the president should say um, when he's addressed the nation on election night. And the mayor was definitely intoxicated, but I do not um, know that his level of talk intoxication when he spoke. Uh, with the president, for example. Now, former Trump advisor Jason Miller has gone on the record about Jared Kushner, saying, quote, the president's son-in-law was more hardcore in fighting back and trying to keep Trump in power than anybody. At some point, Jared Kushner reportedly told Trump that he would have no part in the effort, and Kushner has certainly wants people to believe that he never had any role in the January 6th insurrection or the efforts to try to derail the election results. But this is according to Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump and those supporting Jared Kushner. And yet when you talk to administration officials that work for Donald Trump, they say Jared helped create what then morphed into the Rudy Clown Show. And by the way, if this plan had worked and Vice President Pence had refused to certify and thrown it to the states and somehow Donald Trump was, somehow the electors kept Donald Trump in power, we know based on how Jared Kushner operates that he would have been jumping for joy and he probably would have been calling reporters and taking credit for keeping Donald Trump in office. That is how Jared Kushner operated. It is also apparently how Jared Kushner has been operating for years. He has long been known for his self-promotion and his conflicts of interest. Back in 2006, Jared Kushner bought a New York City office building for $1.8 billion. It was a record at the time, and then there was a housing crunch. So Jared Kushner turned to the Qatari government for financial help. Uh, Jared Kushner has long been accused of getting questionable loans. He's been accused of mismanaging some of his apartment complexes in Baltimore and New York. Back in 2016, during the campaign, Kushner was part of the meeting at Trump Tower when Trump advisors were looking for help from Russian fixers to get dirt on then Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. 
When Donald Trump won and Jared Kushner went to the White House, the FBI initially refused to give him a full security clearance because of his conflicts. Most recently, after five years of kissing the behind of the Saudi kingdom, Jared Kushner was authorized to manage $2 billion in Saudi investment funds. Jared Kushner has long proven himself to be a smarmy, high-pitched liar. And while Rudy Giuliani may have been the drunk one, Jared Kushner was just as dangerous initially after the 2020 election sober. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me what you think in the comment section.